Hey, welcome to the class called Enterprise Java. My name is Shad Sluder and I'm a professor at Grand Canyon University. This video series is designed to go with course number CST-235, which is the third course in Java programming. I work at Grand Canyon University, which is in Phoenix, Arizona, a beautiful billion-dollar campus that's practically brand new. There's about 100,000 students here, 20,000 on campus, and growing to over 30,000 projected in the next few years. We have some technical degrees that I'm involved with, including computer science, computer programming, and information technology and security. So I work mostly with a computer programming degree, and you can get a BS in programming. So it's like computer science, but with an emphasis on coding. So we work with three primary languages. We work with C Sharp, which develops .NET applications. We work with Java, and of course Java Enterprise, which is this course, plus we work with a Spring framework. And then we also emphasize PHP, and we end with projects in the Laravel system. So that means that there are three courses in each of these languages. You get nine coding courses, plus at the end, towards your juniors and senior years, you get an emphasis on mobile cloud computing and with some JavaScript. So a broad computing programming degree. You won't find this in most universities, so if you want to be a programmer, come to Phoenix. Here's the course sections, and so we have six different sections. We're going to start with introductions, and so we'll talk about the differences between Java, regular programming in Java, and Java Enterprise. We'll look at some of the older technologies that Java started with called JSPs, and then we'll design our project as we are going to see it for the semester. In section two, we'll work with Java server faces and templates and the model view controller design. The third section we'll talk about our enterprise Java beans and dependency injection. So we'll be talking about beans that are backing up the data that's on a website. In section four, we'll talk about databases. And so we'll set up a MySQL database and we'll create all the methods to talk to it and we'll create a full example where they will have a, an app that works with the front end to the back end. And so this is the majority of the videos in this course. Toward the end of the course, we'll develop REST services. So our database will be able to serve JSON formatted data and XML data for other clients. And then finally, we'll build a JavaScript client that will use our JSON service. So first of all, you'll see some guided step-by-step -step tutorials, and they'll hopefully explain the different technologies that are new to you. Then at the end of each section, you will create your own version of an app that's similar to the tutorials. So the tutorial will provide you with a good model, but you will develop your own customized version. And then we'll do some design for each section as well. So if we create a database, we'll first of all design the database with a, with a diagram. Or if we create new classes, we'll create diagrams to uh, define all the properties and methods on our objects. And so that's where we're going. So let's come along and learn some Java Enterprise.